Good morning, friends. It is another day with me wearing the same shirt. I'm just realizing, oh my God, I need to get new clothes. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesse. If you are new here, this is Finnegan. He's freaking out. Cora's back there too. I am starting another vlog. I do all kinds of lifestyle content here. We also talk about budget and debt and living with chronic illness. It has been exactly one year since I left my job and we are doing a little bit of celebrating today. So we're going for a hike, but we're also kind of taking a ride around the Raleigh area looking at trees because right now is like prime time for the trees to be um, like beautiful. And <laughs> And I really wanted like a vegan donut this morning. So Ben is gonna try to go, there's this little restaurant, I'm like parked on a street right now. He's gonna try to go find a vegan donut for me. And yeah, he's texting me, so I'll check in in a minute. Don't mind the clicking in the background. I have our little, what are those called? The flashers on. But waiting for Ben to get some donuts. The trees though are so beautiful and getting all different colors here. We change colors later than I feel like most places do because it's warmer here. Right. But they're both like, where's daddy? Where is he? He'll be back in a second. <laughs> Taking a hike today and a new spot. Right? Well, not... Not new. I don't think I've ever showed it on the vlog though. Yeah, coming up. But new age. Yeah. Dogs are super hyper. By the way, those vegan donuts were not vegan. We're not vegan donuts. So fail. Fail on that end, but now we're taking a walk and it's like really windy, so like all the because the leaves are turning and falling off. <laughs> like a leaf storm today. I know, there's just leaves everywhere. But I'm gonna fall if I keep doing this. So, <laughs> see you in a not bit. A, not a flat. I'm not. Trail. Yeah. We got some Thai food. Do, 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 do. This is it's a new place. Pad Thai without the egg and with <laughs> tofu. And then we got drunken noodles, which are really good. And then I believe it's Gang Penang. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, curry. It's so good. So. Jesse's fave. But yeah, this is a, a place that uh, we've picked up from a few times for Uber Eats and just, yeah, it just seems like people like it a lot, so. Yeah, I tried a bite of this and it's good, so. Yummo. Let's do it. Hello friends, so welcome back. Uh, well, for you it's been about 13 seconds, for me it's been a few hours. Got home, ate our Thai food, which y'all saw. I did a quick FaceTime with my sister because her and my mom actually just got puppies, which it was supposed to just be my mom getting a puppy but my sister got one <laughs> too actually fun fact getting Finn is actually all of the all their fault <laughs> just kidding because um, I was actually going to get a puppy from the litter that my mom got hers and um, but it just didn't make sense to get one from Wisconsin so and it was like a last minute thing that we talked about so then I wanted a puppy and I found one here. So fun fact. My mom has always like rescued dogs and animal, all of our animals, horses, all of them. This is the first one I think she's ever got a full bred dog in a long time. But anyway, I talked with them and now I am going to Home Goods, which it could be like a terrible decision. Oh, Ben and I also watched Great British Baking Show, which is like the most wholesome, greatest show of all time. Also, if you're watching Great British Baking Show, Chigs, super hot. Anyway, <laughs> it's beautiful. That's one thing I will say about North Carolina. They 
do fall right, okay? Like, fall here is perfect. It's beautiful, like the weather is beautiful, and um, the trees are beautiful. It's just wonderful, and it's like a longer season, whereas I feel like a lot of times, at least in the Midwest, fall is just like the fastest season, and it's like raining the whole time, so fall here is spec. Home Goods is really not a place I want to go on a weekend, but I just have it in my head that I'm going to go because I want to check out some Christmas decor because I want some more Christmas decor. <laughs> yeah, I was just telling you guys the other day that we like don't have any room to, or we don't have like much room in our budget for like Christmas stuff this year, but Ben understands like how important Christmas is to me. Sorry, the lighting's terrible right now. And he was like, we have to find a little bit of budget for it. So I have like one thing coming from Amazon that I might keep, I'm not really sure. I had to get like little stocking things to like hold our stockings because I got some stuff from Target. I can show you when I get home. Yesterday I got a couple of stockings and like a tree skirt because I've never had a tree skirt for my tree. Hopefully my fake tree still is like works because I've had that thing for like 10 years now and the fact that the lights haven't gone out on it yet, knock on wood, is good because I don't really want to have to buy a new tree. So I want to go look at Home Goods and see if they have any cute like ornaments or other little like cheap trinkety things. If they don't, I won't get it. The one good thing about going to Home Goods on the weekend is that it's going to be really busy and for an, for being an extrovert like I am, I really don't like being around a ton of people. I like being around people, but I don't like being in like packed stores, you know? It's just like not my vibe anymore. Um, I don't think it's ever been my vibe, but it's like really not my vibe anymore. It's hard for me to go during the week because one of us has to be home with the puppies and Ben and I just have so many calls between the two of us and podcasts and stuff that it's like impossible to go during the week, I feel like. So um, anyway, so I'm going to go today. Hopefully it's not too crazy. If I get anything, I will show y'all what I get. And yeah, but I will update you later. We're gonna do a little TJ Maxx haul. So I got this, which is not um, Christmas at all, but I've been wanting like a Hydro Flask like this, but those are like $40. So this one was $12.99 at TJ Maxx, so I got that. Second thing I got was this actually. It was one of those, you know, at the end of TJ Maxx when it's just sitting there and there's like, a bunch of stuff when you're sitting in line this was there but my work notebook is almost entirely full so I got this I think this was like six dollars the next thing I got is this guy sorry the lighting is terrible um as you can see I'm like obsessed with gnomes this year so I got this little guy I think he was ten dollars right Finn I gotta put away my little pumpkins and then the last thing I got from TJ Maxx is this. They're just like little gnome tea towels or whatever, kitchen towels. This was $6.99. And then, so I went to Target yesterday and I got some stockings because Benjamin and I both don't have any. Sorry, the lighting in here is terrible. So they're just red stockings. And then I got two little doggo stockings these were five dollars a piece the red stockings were 15 and then I got this tree skirt I have never bought a tree skirt for my tree because I think they're extremely overpriced which they are to be honest I thought this was 15 dollars because the little hanger it was on said 15 dollars but it must have been in the wrong place because it clearly says 30 there so that is my little haul of Christmas stuff and then my house is literally a disaster I don't think you guys understand 
how crazy this makes me, but like with a puppy, it is <laughs> impossible to keep anything clean. These are my little roses I bought the other day. Last thing from Target. I totally forgot about this guy. He is like a more beautiful, mature gnome. He was $5 from Target. I think he's super cute. So I already got him up here. And then I actually bought some stuff from Amazon. If it comes in over the weekend, I'll show you. But I bought some candles, like fake candles, to put in our fireplace. They're kind of like this one. It's like a fake candle that lights up. This one actually needs batteries. And then I bought little stocking clip things so that I can hang the stockings up here. And then I bought tiny little trees that I'd like to put on that end of my mantle because I'm going to get rid of some of these candles, as you can see, are like completely dead. So I'm going to get rid of some of those candles and move some of the candles um, so they're not all up here. And yeah, and then this crate needs to go. <laughs> Finn has been liking Cora's soft crate, but it's honestly just like terrible. So Ben brought out my Christmas decorations. So I think I might decorate tonight. If I don't tonight, I will definitely do it tomorrow. So we'll see. And this is my good old fake tree that's lived with me through multiple moves. I'm hoping that she still lights up because if she doesn't, I'm going to be devastated. But I am starving. It's only 5.15. I'm not really sure why I'm so hungry, but I am. Um, I'm watching a YouTube video, and then I'm going to make myself some dinner. Don't mind my messy ass table. Ben already made himself some dinner. I'm actually super excited about this. I'm, I love this, like, lilac, lilac, um, like lavender color. But... I'm trying to decide if I want leftovers. So, well, it's leftovers no matter what. So I have leftover Thai, which I'm leaning toward that. We have lasagna, tons of it. So I could also eat that. Mm, I could also eat, no, I think I'm going to eat the Thai food. What do you think, little guy? What do you think I should eat? Yeah, you're being so sweet. You're a good boy. Okay, time for some Thai food. Okay, friends, I did a little Christmas decorating. I know it's a little early, but... Thankfully, this little tree that my mom bought me, like, almost 10 years ago, still lights up. So we're going to use this for another year. I have the whole bottom of the tree doesn't have ornaments on it because Finnegan was already trying to eat it. The bottom of the tree is broken anyway, but it is what it is. Cute little, the tree skirt is like way too small for this tree, but it works for now. I would love to get like a bigger tree or like if I, um, I would love to get a real tree. I grew up with real trees. Let me know down below if you, if you have real trees or if you like fake, but I grew up with real trees cause I lived in um, like a very small town. So not that that matters, but we just had like tree farms and stuff that we went to. So yeah, I'll be honest. I did not, um, didn't decorate the back very much because nobody can see it anyway. And I only wanted to use my like silver and gold. These are really old, um, but they still work. I sometimes I want like new pretty stuff cause this isn't necessarily my style anymore, but I think it looks pretty cute. So got that. I have my little gnome guy over here. I know the lighting's terrible, but I showed you him before, I think. I have a little candle lit. I put one of my little mugs there. And then this will basically be the only other part that's decorated because I really only have a tree and then a few little things. So this is this I got this at Home Goods or yeah, Home Goods I think. I don't know, like a couple like probably 6 8 years ago. And I just put some red little balls in there that usually went on my tree, but I pretty much just did silver and gold. This time besides a couple little 
red guys. So I just have them in there. This is a candle, like a fake candle. And then I have my little snowman. My mom also bought me this like 10 years ago. It's little nose is gone, but I still think he's cute. And then I showed you guys these, I have these. So I'm gonna hang those up tomorrow. I will show you when it's all done. Well, maybe I will. Otherwise you'll see it in another vlog. It depends when my Amazon order comes in because I bought like little things that clamp onto here so that I can hang them on the little mantle. And then this is my little $5 gnome guy from um, Target. This is an old coffee mug that I have and this is just like a birch fake actually it might even be real birch candle so we did decide to spend like 50 bucks <laughs> 50 bucks ish on just a few little things I think that's a lie I probably spent closer to like 75 on all the stuff I bought but um just to like brighten up the space a little bit and I can't wait to like hang those down and then hopefully the little candles will be cute and then yeah my little tree lives again another year and we got the pup sleeping and i'm just like watching tv there's not really much to do i'm kind of bored this week's just gonna kind of be crazy so monday will be like a pretty heavy work day tuesday i have an interview in the morning at 9 30 a call with a client at 10 a podcast interview for chronically healing at one till like 2 30 and then I have another phone interview at three so a lot of that going on next week and then Wednesday I have therapy which I'm really excited about you guys I've been I'm really hoping that I like this therapist and that she can be helpful to me but honestly we're paying for it out of pocket and I don't really know where the money is going to come from, honestly, if we have to like put it on a credit card. I'm not really sure, but mentally, I need a therapist. So I'm excited to meet with a new person on Wednesday. Hopefully we click. And then if you guys were here, have been here for a really long time, I had a therapist that I literally loved so much when I lived in Chicago. And I worked with her a little bit when we moved because because of COVID and stuff, um, you could like, most of the time therapists can only work in the state that they're like certified or I don't, I don't know how that works, but they can't work in like every state. So she was able to like get like a temporary allowance to, uh, do therapy for me when I was in North Carolina, even though she was in Illinois, but then eventually my insurance ran out and I, it just wasn't working anymore. So um, not because of her, but because of just like money and stuff, but she's like my favorite person in the world. So I've just, I have like a very, because I clicked so well with her, I'm like very particular for therapists. And then anyway, so I'm excited to meet with this new person on Wednesday. She's supposed to have a background in somatic therapy, which is something that I would really like to learn more about. And then on Thursday, I have a call with a doula, actually. I am not pregnant, obviously, but the um, this is a doula. It's actually one of Ben's clients, and she offered to give me, like, a session because of my miscarriage a few uh, months ago. So apparently doulas, some doulas are, like, trained or will help with um, miscarriage support. So I... <laughs> I feel like my miscarriage was very rough when it happened and then I think I did what a lot of people do and I like pretended like it wasn't happening anymore and I kind of like took that experience and put it in the back of my head and I haven't thought about it and I think that could be part of the reason that my mental health isn't in the best state ever so so yeah, I'm excited to talk to her and to just get like some insight from her and see how that goes. And then Friday, I don't even know what's going on Friday. So honestly, I'm sure other things will pop up, but this week's really going to be a busy one. So my hope is tomorrow I can get ahead and edit some podcasts. I'm telling you, as soon as I have some extra income, editing my podcast is going to be the first thing that I um, 
I delegate out to like a virtual assistant or something. It's just rough. So, um, so yeah, I'm also hoping to hear back from another possible job, like, um, contract position that I was really excited about. I had an interview with like the recruitment company on Thursday and they said that they thought that I was a shoe in, but I mean, we'll just see what the client says. I was hoping to hear back from them yesterday, but I didn't. So hopefully I hear back from them Monday or Tuesday, but, but yeah. And then Ben is applying for jobs. Y'all can go watch his channel. If you want to see more about his journey with jobs and coaching and all that stuff, I'll leave a link to his channel down below, but He's looking for some jobs, so he's been doing his resume and, like, reaching out to a few of his contacts and stuff like that. So I'm really proud of him for doing that. I'm very appreciative for him doing that, too, because going back into the working world when you have been working for yourself for eight-plus years has got to be hard. I mean, I've only been out of my job now for a year, and I sometimes can't imagine going back to a full-time job, so... I can only imagine uh, what he's going through with that, but he's actually feeling pretty good about it, pretty excited about the opportunity to take some money stress off of the family and um, and find something interesting for him to do. So, but that is the plan. It's 8.15. I am probably, I don't know, going to like search through YouTube for something else to watch. I guess I could read a book too, but that would mean that I would have to walk upstairs and get a book, which seems like a lot of work. Okay, friends, it's the next day. I'm wearing the same shirt. Let's just not talk about it. We're at Flipside Donuts now. We drove all the way to Morrisville, which is near Cary, which is like 25 minutes from where we live because they're supposed to have vegan donuts. So <laughs> we'll see. We got them. What'd you get? Un unboxing. Unboxing. Oh my god. Oh my Look god. Look at that apple fritter. Oh my god. These two are mine. You can have them. This what is, is it? This one's filled, so it's for me. Are they all vegan? Yep. Yeah. So these are the four vegan options they had. Oh my so... god, they smell so good. Oh, that's perfect, because so those just... are like two of my favorite kinds of... I, I prefer like boring glazed donuts. So I was just like, one Look of each. Ten. This one, <laughs> this one is like, right, this one's like the most specialty. It's uh blueberry filled with the lemon glaze oh yeah that's probably so good. i was like i would like that but yeah easy easy pickings <laughs> all right i just tore off a piece for jesse mm -hmm. not finn mm -hmm. good is it yeah <laughs> yeah like yes yeah it's like super fluffy Oh, yeah. Oops. Looks really good. Well, now it's all over the car. No. Finn, see if you can find that uh, glaze that fell. <laughs>